here I was mentioning about the sprite list and the stage icon when you will select or click on the sprite the commands or the features will be related to the sprite like changing the costume giving the sound and all like if I'm clicking on the sprite it has been changed to costume and like right now whatever I will do will be effective on sprite only as you can see okay but as you can see the uh, tabs are code costume and sound but as soon as I clicked on the backdrop the tabs have been changed code backdrops in place of costume costume is related to the sprite but here we are changing the background background hence backdrop and I can change the different uh, here I can make the changes on the backdrops by using this adding a new sprite on the stage a new sprite section is located at the bottom of the stage it has three buttons each button can be used to add a sprite on the stage the three buttons are paint a new sprite get surprise sprite choose new sprite from the file paint new sprite you can paint your own sprite for a project that means you can draw a sprite as per your requirement click on the paint new sprite button from the new sprite section the paint editor window opens The paint tool are on the left side and the color palette is at the bottom of the window. You can hover over any tool with the mouse to see its name. You can draw paint and add any sprite in your project. Click on OK. The new sprite appears on the stage and it gets added to the sprite list you can drag and reposition the sprite anywhere on the stage let's get back to our thing right now I'm just uh, telling the ferry to go away right now I'm deleting the ferry so that we can learn how to add a new sprite here are the options upload a sprite you can select a sprite from the file from your computer system surprise that means it will provide you like here automatically it will give you a sprite by default or by its choice paint a sprite we can draw the sprite as we have studied right now like I just try to make a sprite I'm not so good in so much drawing but still let's draw a sprite okay now as soon as I'll click on and you can see the sprite has been on the screen so it is how we can draw and add a new sprite or we can select the new sprite from the available list also.
choose new sprite from the file clicking on choose new sprite from the file button opens new sprite dialog box choose any folder and click on ok choose any sprite and click on ok the selected sprite appears on the stage we had just done this we have called this beer just by clicking on it choose a sprite any of the folder let's say i want animals so here i can select any of the uh, pre-installed sprite and as you can see the new sprite has arrived on the stage get surprise sprite click on get surprise sprite button a new sprite appears on the stage students this would be today's session i would like that kindly install a scratch program on your computer it's free of cost available on the google uh, platform so you can search them and you can install it is uh, not so big program you get easily installed in that once you have installed it i would request that kindly go through with these topics which we have studied today the different parts of the scratch window along with how to add a new sprite painting a new sprite or choosing a sprite from the given file for today we will cover up up to this point the next topics will be covered in the upcoming session i would be sharing a screenshot of this exercise also would request to kindly do the exercise in the book for today thank you Good day.